Would you say whole phases are necessary? Yes. Yes. Very much. In the same way guys fuck it out, so do girls. Why the fuck is there a difference? Whole phases are very much necessary to understand what you like and what you don't like. Yeah! You don't discover what you like until freaking Chad or Brad or freaking Justin does it and you're like, ah oh, shit. Or maybe Tracy, I don't know. But you're like, shit, that's it. Can you? And then you're like, oh, cool, 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 cool. I like that. I didn't know I'd like it, but I did. <laughs> and you're like, move on, let me upgrade. And now I know more of what I like. And you like, you know, and the next time you're like, hey, random person. I really like being called a good girl, so you should call me that. And then guess what? It happens and it's better. So in the context of sex, don't knock it till you try it. Exactly. Yes. What's something that you don't understand about men? Maybe the lack of like, I don't know if it's necessarily empathy, but like the lack of um, understanding of where women are coming from most of the time. Like why women get upset about their actions, their words. I feel like they can be a bit careless sometimes and they can be that way around their guy friends and I guess that's why where the disconnect comes between men and women. Women are majority of the time really thoughtful in their words and actions and I feel like sometimes men can be a bit careless. Where do you think their lack of understanding comes from? That one, honestly, I'm stumped as well. Still trying to figure that one out, I don't know. What do you think the issue is with modern dating? The issue with modern dating is that the tradition of a man doing the courting is uh, going away. Why do you think it's ended? I think it's ended because women asked to be equal to men, so we asked for it ourselves. Why do you think it is that a wealthy man is quicker to change a broke woman's life, but a wealthy woman wouldn't even look a broke guy's way? I just think that women are looking for men who can provide and if you can't then they're they're not they're not open to it. So you believe in gender roles? No, I didn't I'm just looking for someone who can meet me halfway. I At least say for someone who makes I'm a I'm a pretty good provider. So <laughs> I can't say for someone who makes less than me, but I make at least a hundred bands a year so I feel like that's the minimum for me as somebody that makes 100k a year do you think that that makes dating easier or harder for you I think it makes it harder why does it make it harder because not everyone makes that much money and it kind of makes you look down on people if they don't make as much well it like raises a bar so it raises your standards a little bit, okay. but I mean, it's not the end all be all. So like if you make 80 bands, then okay. But like if you make 40, okay. 40K? 40K is a deal breaker. That's a deal. That's like, oh, absolutely not. No way, under no circumstance. No. no. What if that was the only person who you connected with though? It's a deal breaker. Still a deal breaker. I can't live on 40K. You but you're making 100K. So if he's bringing 40. Like raise a family on 40. Well, could you on? I've been living on 100 myself. Could you on 140? Yeah. So he bring the 40K. But I can't live on 40. But you have 100. So you and him together would be 140. If I'm on, if I'm on, like, if I'm on maternity leave, I don't have 100 bands. Okay, I see what you're saying. Is dating harder for men or women? Um, I think both have their trials and tribulations in different ways. And of course, both will be harder in their own ways. I don't know if one can be harder than the other. I think... You look pretty cold. I am. <laughs> I think that men have it harder than women and women are able and willing to understand that men have it tough out here and they just like a king should be a king i'm a queen treat me like a queen but yeah i, th I think that women are the problem including me <laughs> as a woman what's one thing you wish all men understood that we're equal yeah in what ways in oh. all in all <laughs> ways oh do you think do you think you and i are have the same strength that we're as strong as each other? Um, uh, I think so. This is one of, this is a topic I get really into because 
I am very much the person who sees like strength, you know, you might have more strength in one aspect, whether it's emotionally or physically than I do in another, mm -hmm. but that, but it may, you know. So we're on equal strength we're wise, right? Strength wise, but it's in different areas. How could we equality. be the equity, not equality? I can push a baby out of my vagina. You can't grow one. You true, can ejaculate true. all the freaking time and impregnate all the women in the world, but they're not controlling you, they're controlling me. Why? When I can only make a baby in nine months, you, I make one, if I actually make one, if I make it through both me and right. my baby. Right. You can impregnate multiple women multiple times true. a day, and yet I'm the one that's told that I need to have birth control. I could have 10 bit, I could have. When there's a 15, a 15 minute, a 15 minute procedure, snip, snap, snip, snap. Walking out, maybe a little waddle, and that's it. So I could have 10 babies in a year, and you could only have no, one. No, 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 10 babies? You could have significant. You, you had 10 babies in one day. You could have 10 babies in one day. 10 different women? Done. Okay, so if, like, you're saying we're equal, mm -hmm. but obviously if we're different like that, if we're unequal, if, if so this is, this is what I'm asking. This is what I'm asking, though. If we're unequal in any way, how are we actually equal? No, no, we're unequal in the fact that the way that society has placed us. Okay. That's like asking our white and black people equal. But but they're not though. Society, we're not. Look at men all and women aren't equal. We're not. We're we not should be. All, we should be equal. We should, we should be equal. We're not equity. We're not but we're not equal because of the way society is. Mm -hmm. But if society was a different way, if society was the way it should be. Mm -hmm. Everyone is Idealistic. equal. In a perfect world. Equal. Absolutely. Not in a perfect world. In a better world. We're not aiming for perfect. We're aiming for better. Aiming for perfect is unrealistic and stupid. Equitable. 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 Do you know what hypergamy is? Hypergamy? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. So hypergamy is the act of dating or marrying somebody who you deem to be more successful than you. Okay. So who do you think is more likely to practice hypergamy? A man or a woman? Hmm. Woman. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, why do you think a woman is more likely to practice hypergamy? Um, <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> uh, women is more, um, more um, patient, more uh, apt to practice hypergamy because she feels like she has more to bring to the table. Um, more than status, more than money, more than wealth because we make babies. And men can't do that, so we feel like we have more, like an upper hand. So if a woman is going to marry up, it's because she feels like she's bringing more to the table? Yes. Okay. Um, well, if a woman historically married up, wouldn't that mean that men historically married down? Or is it something else? Um, men historically will marry down. I don't think men marry down. Um, and they shouldn't. But okay. yeah, there it, it should, it should, it should be some kind of um, level that mentally or intellectually that they should meet the woman at. Okay. Yeah. Solid. Any t anything on that? Nowadays, we shouldn't be like, when, when I was talking with my husband, there's no leader or follower. We just a teamwork. Okay. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's just a teamwork. Just a teamwork. We okay. work together. <laughs> so, um, if you do the dishes, I do the dishes. If I do the laundry, you do the laundry. <laughs> so that's a teamwork. It's just like when you see something that particular, you just help each other, help the world, help your family. At first, help your family first before you help the world. So that's all matters. Do you think a man or a woman is a prize in a relationship? Both can be a prize. You know, the ultimate relationship is when both know that they are of high value. So what do you consider a high value guy? Um, well, my, in a perfect relationship, I would be the nurturer and the man would be the protector. And I don't know, I feel like a man of high value will go out of his way to make sure that you are comfortable, not necessarily catered to, but comfortable and taken care of. And, um, I don't know. What do you consider a high value woman? high value woman, someone who respects herself, someone who knows their value and I don't know, sets the own standard for herself. Like she knows what she expects of herself. She has expectations of herself and she fulfills them. Just, I, I don't know, same of a man though, okay. the same as well. But. So it doesn't matter what they actually do, as long as they think of themselves highly and they respect themselves, 
It, uh, they can be high value. And it comes down to self-love. That is high value. When you truly love yourself and know yourself deeply, I feel like that in and of itself is high value. But that doesn't mean that you're of low value if you don't have that. I just think that it takes a lot to love yourself that much and that you should value the work that you've put in to get yourself to that point. If you take a $100 bill and you crush it up, it's still valued at 100 bucks. Is go. that what you're saying? Yes, of course. On a scale of 1 to 10, how honest do you actually want your man to be? About an 8. Why not 10? Because it's too honest. <laughs> but you just said you want honesty, right? I don't want the truth. Truth. Just like the truth that pertains to me. So what's the difference between the truth, truth, and the truth that pertains to you? Some men are just too honest. So how like do you about where they are in life? So like, say like you're, you're here for for forever, and they're not, and then they say that. That's just too much. So you kind of rather just be told what you want to hear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's fair. Do, can you understand why some men sell, sell women dreams then? Yeah. So how do you approach a guy that you're interested in? Oh, I stare him down. You kidding me? You stare him down? Absolutely. Break eye contact, gone. <laughs> so, let's say that the camera's the guy. Give the camera the look. Oh, first off, he's got to walk in. And then I look at him and I'm like, shit. And I just look at him and I'm like, and then I track him. But the camera's not moving, so I can't really track him. And then I'm like, and then you just shoulder off. And it's like, oh, if I like you, cool, I'll probably go up to the bar next to you. But, you yeah. know. How do you approach a guy that you're interested in? Oh, God. It's so funny because, oh God, I don't know. I actually, if I don't approach any guy that I'm interested in, I would expect them to come up to me because I just feel like I have this, like, I have this vision in my head that my one true love will come to me. Like, I don't feel like I will have to go to him. I feel like he will approach me. And I feel like if it's meant to be, I think when it comes down to it, if it's meant to be, I tell myself he will come to me. Few and far between, there have been moments that I approach a guy and really all I do is I go up and I'm like, oh my gosh, hey. Or I will like say something funny or just kind of be like, what's up? I don't know, like I'll just be like, hey. I just kind of go up and just ask what they're about. So you don't have to be that crazy. So you believe in destiny as opposed to being in control of your own love life? In, yeah, honestly, yeah, because I feel like if it's meant to be, then it will happen. What are your thoughts on body count? On body <laughs> count? <laughs> Irrelevant. Irrelevant unless you, like, they're relevant. They are, they, let me correction. They are relevant if you haven't gotten tested. I don't want your shit. I don't care about your trail. That probably makes you better if they communicate. So, oh, well, I feel like it's relevant to like to you. Dude, someone asked me about my like, body count. They're like, if it's above 20, that's an issue. And I said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you want someone who knows what they're doing or what, not what they're doing? I'm like, even then, it doesn't matter. Even then, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Who gives a shit if I went through a bad time in my life and I decided to fuck around? Does body count matter? No, but STDs too. So I don't care how many people. So you if you with. could, if you could choose an STD to have, what would it be? Dude, nah, don't even give me that question. Would you rather have chlamydia, or would you rather have gonorrhea? Dude, I'm gonna be honest. I can't even distinguish the two right now. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How about crabs? No thanks. Itchy itch itch? No thanks. Those are the things that move around. <laughs> What's worse, having crabs or bed bugs? Dear God. Um, I'd say both are probably horrific and nightmarish. I wouldn't wish it upon anyone. <laughs> Give your best dating advice in Thai. In Thai? In the language. In the language. <laughs> <laughs> the best advice for me in Thai. Oh tie. Lord. Um. Um. Okay, in Thai. Yeah, you got <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, use money in the way to find a good life. We have to use it with heart to find someone who can use life with us. So that means like. Don't don't, don't spoil it, oh. guys. Translate down below. <laughs> translate. <laughs> All right. <laughs> No, you gotta give your best dating advice in Spanish. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm talking about best dating ad advice in Spanish. Okay. Um. <laughs> um. It's hard. It is hard. <laughs> uh, si, 
si el hombre te quiere un poquito más que la mujer, ese es el hombre con el que quieres estar. <laughs> All right. Okay, I don't know what Translate that. down below because <laughs> yo soy no entiendo. Okay. <laughs> Titi me pregunto, right? <laughs> Titi me pregunto si tengo no mucha novia. Mucha novia, con una, una, con una otra, ey. Pero no hay todas. Si te me pregunto si tengo mucha novia. Ey. Mucha, mucha novia. Hoy tengo una, mañana otra. otra. Me la voy a llevar a todas. Un VIP, un VIP, ey. Pero mira el selfie, and we're gonna take a selfie. Say cheese. <laughs> I know, I know, I know that you're drunk yeah. Tell me what you want after this club oh. You know you're nasty, you know you're nasty. Oh. Don't move out of my house, try to taxi